In today's tutorial, I will show you how to represent heat waves using the ArcGIS Pro. A heat wave occurs when, over a period of 6 consecutive days, the maximum air temperature is 5 degrees higher than the average value of maximum daily temperatures for a given reference period. Heat waves typically occur in the warmer months, but can also happen in winter. Taking the Portuguese weather stations as a starting point and using the average number of days during a heat wave, we will represent this phenomenon in ArcGIS Pro. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Let's start by creating our project, giving it a name, I will call it Heat Waves in this example, and I will save this project to my previous created folder. The first thing we are going to do is uh, check our data. So I have the data in an Excel file, so let me search for it. Okay. So in this Excel file, we have the feed with numbers, the name of the stations, the X and Y coordinates, and the years that we are going to analyze. We, we will not analyze every year, but these are the ones we are going to, to need for, uh, for this tutorial. And lastly, on the N column, I have the average of uh, of the heat waves of each station for each of the years represented. Let's close the Excel file and go back to ArcGIS Pro and let's start by adding the Excel file. So I actually forgot to change the name right here, but there's no problem. Click OK. Now let's right click on the table, click on Open. And as you can see, we have the same values as I showed you previously. So the average is the values that we are going to need to, to do this analysis. So let's close this and transform this table into a point shape file. So go here, create points to table, x, y table to point. This is the table create an output I'll call it heatwaves underscore shp and I'll click save x field is the x, y is the y coordinate system it needs to be WGS84 and for the output coordinate system I will choose the official coordinate system from Portugal. So Portugal ETRS 89 TM 06. OK. And that's it. OK. So we have all the stations represented in our map. So actually, let's go back so we can see the area that we are going to analyze, but we firstly need to import um, the area of interest, so our shapefile to be to be our um, to be our extent. So to do this is pretty easy. Just go to your browser and search for download data by country. Click on the first link. Choose the country you, will, you want, so in this case Portugal, administrative areas and click download. After the download is finished, just unzip this to your folder and then import the shapefile you need to your map. So let's select the folder, extract, now click on Add Data, search for your new shapefiles. Let's try this one, for example. OK, and this will be our extent. So now to finish the representation of our heat waves, go to More Tools, search for IDW, drag and drop the stations to the input, 
for the z-value field will be the average, select an output, I'll call it idw underscore hw, click save, cell size I will try for example 50, and then to environments, the extent will be Portugal and for the mask will be Portugal as well. And now we can click on run. Actually, let me, let me stop this process and change this value to 500, for example, because this area is is large so let's try 500 so the process doesn't take so long and uh, and the final raster ends up not not being so heavy so the final result is finished now let's just change the symbology of the heat waves let's try to change this color scheme for this one for example and as you can see in this map, we have less days of heat waves near the ocean, which makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. And as we move towards Spain, where we no longer have as much influence from the ocean, the days in heat waves tends, tend to increase. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.